Ian arrives in South Carolina today with hurricane force winds and heavy rain. The storm isn't packing the punch it had in Florida, but it's still a threat to lives and property. I think we're going to see a lot of wind. We'll probably see a lot of rain. In southwest Florida, the view from above shows the massive devastation Hurricane Ian inflicted on beach communities. Houses were ripped from their foundations, leaving people homeless and in shelters. Emergency responders from the Coast Guard, National Guard, and other search and rescue teams have conducted at least 700 rescues so far. There are over a thousand dedicated rescue personnel who are going up and down the coastline. Sanibel Island suffered major damage. The only road in has been washed away. Everything on Sanibel is destroyed, that's for sure. The Strader family rode out the storm in Sanibel. Where the wind was coming pretty hard. I was praying a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot. The family had to be rescued after the storm, but their pet tortoises, the reason they stayed behind, didn't survive. Intense winds and flooding are threatening the entire South Carolina coastline. Here on Folly Beach, some race to evacuate in the final hours before Ian hits. I don't think it's going to get any better. Definitely going to get worse. We are on the beach, so I think it's time to time to head out. North Carolina's governor reminded people not to take Ian lightly. And remember, it was only 13 months ago that Tropical Storm Fred brought destruction and death to our mountains in western North Carolina. The southeast coast of South Carolina is known as low country, areas already prone to flooding. The storm surge there could be particularly devastating. Michael George, CBS News, Folly Beach, South Carolina.